Okay, I am so excited because I feel like I've been waiting for this forever. So um, since he's had some uh, shipping delays and so I feel like I've been waiting for this winter collection forever. I feel like some videos went up like two weeks ago and some of us that are, I guess, got part of, we got stuck in that delay are just starting to get their um, winter bundle. But you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, even though you may have already seen some videos. Um, so if you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. My name is Martha and I am going to share with you the five I'm looking down because I'm looking at, I have them all displayed down here. <laughs> I'm looking at them. Uh, so there are five cents in this winter collection. This winter collection goes on sale for the general public on or is offered. I shouldn't say sale because it makes it sound like it's discounted. Uh, it just, it's, it'll be open for anyone to shop uh, October 1st. October 1st is when they are up and available uh, to purchase. That's, that's probably the way I should be saying it. <laughs> These will be available to purchase starting October 1st, but as a Sensi consultant, I get early access, even though it took a while, it took a while to get here, but let's get started. Okay. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start. So let me tell you the names, sleigh ride, rum, pum, plum, cranberry, candy, cane, and cherry Jubilee and vanilla barnyard. I'm sell. I'm saving vanilla barnyard for last because so many people seem to love that one. And then I'm guess so I want to end on a high note and then I'm going to do rum, pum, plum, because that one also seems to be getting a lot of good good reviews. I'll save those two for last. And then I'll just start with, um, I'll just start with sleigh ride. So sleigh ride is crisp air, fallen fur needle and a touch of tart cranberry. And let's see. Okay. I definitely get the fur, the Fraser fur. Um, it's a tree scent, obviously, but it doesn't seem to be super heavy, heavy tree. I mean, I mean, you do get that fur, that Fraser fur. Okay. On the bottom, it's, it's a stronger, it's a stronger tree note. I like tree notes. So if you've seen my Scentsy or any winter collection that I've been sharing uh, so far, Scentsy or Vendor, I, I do like tree notes. So this one, I do get that Fraser fur, which to me isn't as strong as pine. It's a, got a little nuttiness to it, which I do enjoy. I'm not picking up, I'm really not getting cranberry, but I am getting something a little sweet. There's something a little sweet, a little cool, but not minty. And that must be that kind of crisp air. So I, I like this actually for a tree note. Yeah, I'll put that disclaimer there. If you don't like tree notes, I don't know that you'll love this, but I don't find it to be like a, it's a, it's like a softened down version of a tree note. And I think maybe that cranberry, even though I can't pick it out distinctly is adding a little sweetness, softening it up just a little bit. So I'm going to, I know I'll enjoy it. So I'll enjoy warming this, but it's probably, I have quite a number of tree, tree scents in my collection. So, I mean, I'm probably not going to get any more, but, uh, that is sleigh ride. And this next one is cranberry candy cane, and this is cranberries, pomegranate, peppermint sticks. Now I like peppermint. So this is again, also in my wheelhouse. That's why I was, I don't know why I hesitated. I actually didn't purchase this bundle, like the day it was offered for Scentsy consultants. I don't know why. I think cranberry, I'm like, eh, and I feel like I have enough peppermint scents coming and enough tree scents. So that might be why I hesitated and I'm picking at something. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, and uh, that's why I may have hesitated. So um, anyway, this is cranberry candy cane. So let's see. I get the cranberries in here for sure. Come on out. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. I get the pomegranate, I get the cranberries, and I get the candy cane. 
I like it. I like it. I mean, it's not, uh, it's a nice new version of a peppermint scent, which I do enjoy melting right around the holidays, right around Christmas. Um, so I do enjoy this. It's good. The peppermint stick are just adding a cooling, a cooling feeling. Like as I'm breathing this, I'm feeling it going, you know, through my nose, this cool sense. Um, but I do get the cranberry and the pomegranate, which I think is a nice, a nice mix. And I'm getting both of those evenly. I'm getting the cranberry pomegranate right off the bat. And then there's this peppermint that's coming in from behind but it's not to me like woof, you know, like peppermint rush is like woof. Um, this is, this is there, but it's sweet. And it, this is good. This is good. I haven't heard a lot of people. I have, I don't remember actually what a lot of people thought about this one, but I think they thought it was good. It's a good, I think it's a good winter, winter scent. This next one is Cherry's Jubilee. This is black cherry, raspberry, and zesty lemon. Okay. I like cherry. Yeah. Why did I hesitate? Why did I wait a couple days to order this? I don't know. Maybe I was thinking I have too much wax. It's probably right in the middle of all the, the uh, pre-order Palooza that was going on. This is okay. I don't know if I like it as much now. And now that I'm smelling the bottom of it, it's not bad. You definitely get that black cherry. It does smell like an artificial cherry. I'm not going to go as far and say cough syrup, but it does, it does smell like a, like an artificial cherry scent. The raspberry is pretty. I like the raspberry in here. And I think that's what I picked up right on top that I liked. But now that I'm smelling the bottom, I'm like, okay. And I do get a little lemon. I just got a little teeny bit of lemon right there on the bottom. It's tiny, but it's just adding a little, little, little brightness, a little something else, a little zest. It's not bad. And I like cherries, but it's not to me like, uh, it's not the same cherry to me like, uh, in the maraschino sugar cookie. But I think it might, I'll be interested to melt this. I think it might. Because there's parts of it, I get whiffs of it, and I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. So I think maybe melted together with the raspberry, this may actually be better than I'm thinking right now. It's not bad, but it's not, yeah, the more I smell it, the more I'm kind of liking it. I don't, I don't, actually, I don't think it's bad, but if you don't like cherries, there's definitely a cherry note to that one. Okay, so the last two are the ones that I've been hearing the most about and the ones that I'm very curious about. Rum Pum Plum. This is sweet plum jam, vanilla sugar in flaky butter crust. Now I've heard from some of my Scentsy friends that this, this may over, overtake, not overtake, what's the word? This may, this may knock out, um, ah, plum pastry. What's that one called? Plum, the plum pastry one. <laughs> what is it? I have it in the other room. The plum pastry set. You know what I'm talking about? That was in the um, Bake It bundle in the Scentsy warehouse sale not too long ago. Uh, I wanted to smell it. I haven't warmed it yet. Um, not that, and I don't think they smell the same, but I think people are like, ooh, between those two, they're, they're liking this one more. Sweet, sweet plum pastry. You're all yelling at me that know it. You're all like, sweet plum pastry, Martha. Um, I got it. It comes. It's a little slow. A little, the brain's a little slow, but it, it eventually makes its way to my mouth. Um, okay, this, ooh, all right. Yeah. On the top, it's light. Like, I'm not getting a whole lot on the top. On the bottom... I do get that plum jam and it's definitely a jam. So it's sweetened with sugar. I do get some flaky butter, butteriness. And I get, 
I get a little bit of that vanilla. So it's, so not having warm sweet plum pastry and obviously not having warm this one. And I, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of plum notes or plum scents in my collection. This is different for me. I like it. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Now, whether I'm going to love it, I don't know, but I'm definitely getting that jam. So that jam is nice. But there is something, there's some other note in here that is giving me pause. And I don't, I'm going to crack it. I haven't cracked it in a while. Yeah. I'm just getting more of that plum. I don't, I guess I'm like, I don't know what I, I don't know how I feel about plum, but I can see the appeal. It's just different. It's different to my nose, but I do get the plum. It's definitely a jam kind of a scent. I get that flaky butter crust as well. So I think I'm going to like this. I'd really do. And I, and I know that, um, I want to say it was brandy from bricks and bars or bars and bars and bricks with brandy. Uh, I want to say she thought this was very light on first sniff. I think it's smelling pretty moderate, but I've heard others say it's really performing for them. So I, you know, I I'm, I'm giving it that this could probably definitely fill up a bedroom for sure. I think this is going to be a moderate to high. I probably should have said what I thought on all of them. I think the cherry one will be a pretty decent performer as well. That's that's smelling pretty strong to me. Definitely getting that cherry note. I think the I think the um, candy the cranberry candy cane might be light, and I'm thinking well tree notes are typically they they usually stick around. So I'm thinking that this one will be but it smells moderate to be honest. It's not coming off super, super strong to me, but it's it's like a seven, seven out of 10 for that. The cranberry candy cane is like a six out of 10 as far as strength on cold. Uh, this one as well, the Jubilee, I think might be a seven. Rum Pum, this one, I don't know. I think this might be a seven or not a seven, seven or eight possibly. And then this one, this is vanilla barnwood. Everyone's talking about this one. Everyone seems to be loving this one. This is barnwood vanilla and rich amber. I can't wait. Come on, baby. Yes. I, yeah. Oh, this is yummy. This is good. Okay. Yes. This is, this is by far my favorite. By far. Okay. Why? Why is it my favorite? On top, it smells light. On the bottom, the scent is definitely on the bottom. The vanilla is very creamy. Mixed with that amber. It's just, it's beautiful. And the barn wood, um, it's not... So if you, you're afraid of like tree scents, it's not a tree scent. It's just, it's creating this, um, mm, what's that word? It's just like this nice foundation that's, that it's like the vanillas dripped on this wood, this old like barn wood that has just a little bit of an earthy scent, just a little, not like dirt or anything, but just something kind of organic. And and then, then you got like this puddle of like vanilla, just, you know, all over that wood mixed with a little amber to give it this really pretty fragrance. To me, this is very classy. This is very nice. Now, is this gonna be a strong performer? I don't know. I don't know because it was definitely light on top. I'm definitely getting my nose in there. I'm hoping, I, I have a feeling this will be better for bedrooms, but this smells very good, very good. 
I like this a lot. That, yes, yes, yes. So that is Vanilla Barnwood. Um, by far my favorite. My second favorite, my second favorite, um, I mean, this is, this has definitely got me intrigued. This is Rum Pum Plum. And then I would probably put Cranberry Candy Cane as kind of tired. I'm not sure between Rum Pum Plum or this one there, uh, but I'd probably put this as like my third to least favorite. Is that, the, is that the order I'm doing it? Then, 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 then I'm going to say Cherry's Jubilee. And then my least favorite, I'll say Sleigh Ride. I do like, I do like tree notes. Um, but the only reason I'm putting this last is it just, it's, it's nothing special. It's, it's going to be nice to warm it. If you don't have tree scents, I think in the holidays and you do like tree notes, it's not super sharp to me. It's, it's kind of a, it's smoothed out. So it's a good one. Um, and then cherries Jubilee. I do like cherry and that raspberry. I think this might warm really, I think this is going to blend pretty when it's warming. So that's my second to last. So, cause I was very confusing. That's my favorite vanilla barnwood. Then I'll put rum pum plum and then I'll say cranberry candy cane. And then I'll say cherries jubilee. And then last is sleigh ride. But I would say I, I like them all. Some are definitely like standouts for sure. That vanilla barnwood is a standout. That is a rock star. That's my favorite. Um, but the rest of them, I'll enjoy. They're, they're nice. Uh, I'll enjoy. So that's what I have for now. I'm also going to throw in here the Dumbo, the Dumbo collection, because to do a video for like two bars doesn't seem, seem, uh, I don't know, like enough or should I, you know what I'll do? I'll separate them in a video. Cause I think longer term, somebody might just be looking for Dumbo. So it's going to come back to back. So I'll put this in a separate video, but they'll be back to back. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll be talking about Dumbo in just a second. So that is the winter bundle collection uh, available for purchase October 1st. I hope I got that right. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy this, consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in just a second with the Dumbo. All right. Bye-bye.